Charles Spencer, although Princess Diana's younger brother, has always felt intensely protective of his late sister. Charles grew up with three older siblings, Lady Sarah McCorkadel, Lady Jane Fellows, and the future people's princess. However, he was closest to Diana, who was three years older than him. Sarah and Jane, being nine and seven years older respectively, were away at boarding school for most of his childhood. This left Diana and Charles under the care of their father, John Spencer, who gained custody of the children following his 1969 divorce from their mother, Frances Shand Kidd. Diane and I had two older sisters who were away at school, so she and I were very much in it together, and I did talk to her about it. Charles told their parents split. Our father was a quiet and constant source of love, but our mother wasn't cut out for maternity. Not her fault, she couldn't do it. As a result, Diana and Charles developed a strong bond during their childhood, which persisted into adulthood despite tabloid rumors. When Princess Diana was tragically killed in a car crash on August 31, 1997, it was Charles who delivered her eulogy at Westminster Abbey. After her death, Charles revealed that he was haunted by thoughts that he could have done more to protect his older sister. You always think, God, I wish I could have protected her. It was just, it was devastating, he told in 2017. I always felt intensely protective towards her. Since Diana's tragic death, Charles has continued to protect his sister's memory, becoming an outspoken defender of her legacy and champion of her causes. Born on May 20th, 1964, in London, Charles Edward Maurice Spencer is the youngest of five children of John Spencer and Frances Shand Kidd. He grew up with three older sisters, Sarah, the eldest, born in 1955, followed by Jane in 1957, and Diana in 1961. Charles also had an older brother named John, who was born in 1960 but tragically died just hours later, making Charles the only son and heir to the earldom. Though Charles never met his late brother, he honored John's memory in May 2022 by restoring his tombstone. Charles shared before and after photos of the restoration on Instagram, along with a touching tribute to his older brother. Charles's parents, John and Frances, divorced in 1969 when Charles was just three years old. John was awarded full custody of their four children. While Sarah and Jane attended boarding school, Diana and Charles lived at Althorpe, the 500-year-old Spencer family estate in Northamptonshire, England, with their father. The split was particularly tough on Diana, Charles previously told. While she, Frances, was packing her stuff to leave, she promised Diana, then aged five, she'd come back to see her. Diana used to wait on the doorstep for her, but she never came, he told. Charles also faced his own struggles due to his parents' divorce, telling that he had been in and out of therapy for 20 years and had done a lot of very profound work on my unhappy childhood. In March 2024, Charles bravely opened up about his traumatic experiences of childhood sexual abuse while attending Maidwell Hall, a prestigious boarding school in Britain. In his memoir titled A Very Private School, he provided further details about the physical, verbal, and sexual abuse he endured during his time at the school. Charles revealed that at the age of 11, he became a victim of grooming and sexual abuse by an assistant matron who was around 19 or 20 years old. Charles Spencer, the ninth Earl Spencer, has been married three times and is the father of seven children. With his first wife, Victoria Lockwood, he shares four children, daughters Lady Kitty Eleanor Spencer, Lady Eliza Victoria Spencer, and Lady Katya Amelia Spencer, as well as a son, Louis Spencer, Viscount Althorpe. His second marriage to Caroline Freud resulted in two more children, a son, the Honorable Edmund Spencer, and a daughter, Lady Lara Spencer. However, the marriage ended in separation in 2007 and eventual divorce. In 2011, Charles married Canadian philanthropist Karen Spencer, Nee Gordon. Their wedding, held at Althorpe Estate, was attended by all six of Charles's children from his previous marriages. Together, Charles and Karen have a daughter named Lady Charlotte Diana Spencer, named in honor of Charles's late sister, Princess Diana. Charles's eldest daughter, Kitty, 
married Michael Lewis in Italy in 2021. In March 2024, Kitty announced the birth of her daughter, making Charles a first-time grandparent. Another of his daughters, Amelia, married her boyfriend of 11 years, Greg Mallet, in March 2023. At Princess Diana's funeral on September 6, 1997, Charles stood before thousands of mourners and millions of television viewers worldwide to deliver a heart-wrenching eulogy. As the representative of a family in grief, in a country in mourning, before a world in shock, Charles paid tribute to his late sister, calling her the very essence of compassion, of duty, of style, of beauty. He also condemned the treatment Diana had received from the tabloid media, describing her as the most hunted person of the modern age. He also described the experience as physically and emotionally draining. Charles is a renowned historian and best-selling author who has written nine books over the course of his career. His 2024 memoir, A Very Private School, is his most recent work. In addition to this memoir, Charles has authored eight other non-fiction books, focusing primarily on British history. Three of his books, Killers of the King, The White Ship, and Blenheim, Battle for Europe, were Sunday Times bestsellers, with Blenheim also being shortlisted for History Book of the Year at the 2005 National Book Awards. In addition to his writing, Charles, who studied at Oxford, has also worked as a journalist and broadcaster. When Charles's father John died in 1992, Charles became the ninth Earl Spencer and inherited Althorpe, his family's 500-year-old estate in Northamptonshire, England. Built in 1508, Althorpe has housed 19 generations of the Spencer family, including Charles and his sister Diana. Althorpe is also the final resting place of Princess Diana, who is buried at the Oval Lake Grave, a small secluded island on the property's 550 acres. Charles chose this location rather than the family vault at St. Mary the Virgin Church in Great Brington due to concerns over public safety and privacy. We all agreed that, with its beauty and tranquility, this was the place for Diana to be. He wrote in his 1998 book, Althorpe, The Story of an English House. Charles Spencer maintains a strong and enduring bond with his late sister, Princess Diana, even decades after her passing in 1997. Despite the private nature of his older sisters, Charles frequently shares photographs from their childhood and memories of Diana on his social media, commemorating significant events such as her birthday, All Souls Day, and the anniversary of her death. In addition to his social media tributes, Charles often speaks openly about Diana and her enduring legacy, particularly in her two sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, with whom he maintains a close relationship. He has expressed admiration for the way his nephews effortlessly connect with people and put them at ease, drawing a clear connection between their demeanor and their mother's influence. Charles also makes regular visits to Diana's grave throughout the year, ensuring that he honors her memory on landmark days such as her birthday and Mother's Day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Your support means the world to us.